Hey everybody, so this is going to be my uh, review of the Speedmaster uh, LS style water, uh, electric water pump. Uh, what you see here is uh, pretty much exactly how it comes in the kit. One thing I've done is I've kind of clocked this motor over uh, to the right so uh, it'll better fit my application. Um, so normally it, it comes out over here. So what comes in the kit is the water pump. It has these fittings already attached for connecting to uh, some hoses. It comes with these blocks that elevate it off the, the engine block and allow this to kind of go over the timing cover. One thing to be mindful of this kit is it will not work for the VVT uh, style um, timing cover as that protrudes out of the, the timing cover and there's not enough room behind this uh, water pump to be able to accommodate that. So these blocks here, they'll go on first and then these O-rings, I've heard that uh, you know, they're, they're kind of prone to falling off when you're attaching this to the, the engine. So the nice thing is they give you five O-rings in case you lose one and it drops in your engine bay. Uh, one thing I would recommend is just put a little grease on these O-rings just to uh, keep them in place while you're installing the wire pump. It also comes with all the bolts you're going to need to attach this up. One other issue uh, with this water pump is that this little corner right here is actually going to contact the head. So it by contacting the head, it's actually going to push this off the block a little bit and not allow this to seal. So you're going to need to grind some of this off uh, before you install it on the vehicle. The other uh, issue I have found with uh, this kit that not a lot of people have uh, really realized yet or seen is that these are the uh, LS water pump style uh, seals and so if I put this on here and flip it over you can see you're right there in that corner in the middle of the screen there it doesn't quite uh, get covered up by this uh, block adapter so that's going to cause a leak so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put some RTV on this that should be okay uh, this is a machine surface the blocks a machine surface so that should be fine uh, but th that's these issues are just something to be mindful about when you're picking up this kit is uh, you know you're gonna have to make some modifications by grinding here and, and using RTV rather than an uh, actual seal. The other thing uh, that was kind of frustrating is that the listing said that these fittings were uh, one inch MPT. That is actually not true. These are uh, this one is a three quarter MPT and so with my plan with this water pump is I'm going to be remote mounting my radiator so I'm going to be going with 16 AN lines and so I preemptively ordered some 1 inch MPT to 16 AN lines and you can see the 1 inch is actually quite a bit bigger so these are actually 3 quarter inch MPT fittings so if you're planning to, to get this electric water pump to remote mount your uh, radiator you'll need to get uh, MPT I mean I'm sorry a 3 quarter inch MPT to dash 16 or dash 12 AN fitting over here so going over how I clocked this to a different direction, uh, if you want to do that, don't unscrew these bolts because that actually unscrews the motor and there's some brushes in here and it'll be a, a pretty bad time trying to get this back together. I did that and it sucked and I had to put it all back together and it wasn't very fun. You can actually unscrew these, just don't take this off and you can clock where this uh, electrical connection comes out. So I clocked it this way as uh, so that's going to be out of the way of my, uh, my belt uh, for my alternator and all of that stuff. The bolts you're going to want to use to clock the fitting uh, here, where that the direction that comes out, are these four bolts on the bottom. You're going to want to take those out, and then you can clock this uh, pretty much 90 in 90 degree increments. So that allowed me to, instead of having this come out over here, it now comes out over here, and that's going to be better for my setup. So my overall uh, impressions of this water pump is, uh, you know, all the pieces uh, seem like they're machined pretty nicely. Uh, you know, with the exception of these uh, these issues where I'm gonna have to grind down this piece and the, the gasket not fitting and uh, the the fittings not being listed right on the listing. You know, those are just uh, some some things you have to deal with when you're you're buying uh, cheap parts. So you know, the price on this you, you pretty much can't beat it. So if you're willing to deal with some of these uh, these minor issues, then you know, pick up this water pump, but if, uh, if you want a more plug-and-play uh, uh, 
setup, then just, uh, you know, you're going to have to pay a little money, more money for that. So thanks you guys for watching. I'm going to be having another video come out soon uh, about uh, how I'm remote mounting my, uh, my radiator with this setup. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. Uh, like the video if you like this review and leave me a comment if you guys have any questions regarding this water pump or anything else and I will try and answer those questions the best that I can. Thanks guys. These O-rings come with this are a little loose. So, well, they're in there now. <laughs> Man, those, those don't look like they seal all that well. Yeah, I'm going to have to trim that.